the feeling of speed. It's really a, a combination of freedom, adrenaline, no limits, and just pure fun. So Emory Motorsports is the last 27 years of my life. You know, it really all started with me having a desire to, to build cool stuff and go racing. And associated with these little Porsches started back when I was 14, 15 years old and I was building a 356 that was really personalized. Um, you know, in a, in a world where people are so focused on, you know, originality and everything being, you know, full concord, better than original, I was putting some of my own personal touches to the cars that I was building and, and uh, you know, putting fog lights on them and hood straps and all these little details because I wanted the car to be my own and I wanted it to be something that I enjoyed driving. Unfortunately, when I'd show up at the events, the car shows, there was no class for me. And uh, early on, my dad and I were parking out in the dirt parking lot. And that's where the term 356 Outlaw came from. So the first time I rode a vintage electric bike, I was you know, blown away by not only the craftsmanship and the style of the bike, but just the experience of riding it. And I could tell early on uh, that you know, what this company was doing and the bikes that they were building um, was probably a bit disruptive in the bicycle industry you know here's a, an industry that's been around for you know centuries and, and uh, kind of done the same way and all of a sudden with new technology and you know new opportunities here's the you know the, the combination of, of uh, technology and, and a bicycle and and uh, you know I immediately thought these guys are outlaws you know these guys get it they you know they're they're creating their own market they're building a bike that not only has style and technology, but it really is about the experience and, and uh, the joy of riding for the people they're building the bikes for. The kind of outlaw movement as it really started back in the eight, late 80s, early 90s, it was really about taking, um, you know, the race aspect and the rally, you know, look and kind of a little different styling and creating our own, you know, path forward. When there was an opportunity to get together and collaborate with Vintage Electric and and uh, kind of put our minds together on some colors and ideas and, and styling aspect. I was super excited because, you know, these bikes having the technology and rideability of a modern bike, but still having some design characteristics that, that kind of bring you back in time. It's exactly like the cars that I build every day. You know, I take a 356, it's a very iconic shape, very iconic look but I give it more power, more drivability. Um, you know, as I look at these bikes, you know, Vintage Electric is really at the forefront of the new frontier of, uh, you know, a bicycle that, that people can ride and enjoy at the beach, you know, on the bike paths, but then with the assist and with the power, they can commute on the thing. And uh, that's what's exciting for me, is that it really is a disruptive path forward for the bicycle industry and, and something that's so creative but is, is designed and styled in such a way that it's something you're proud of. 